Hello, today I'm going to show you how to flash Fire 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 Bootloader and Twerp Recovery using a factory cable or USB ca uh, fast boot cable. Um, I have a Team Black Hat uh, adapter which just connects to my um, USB cable for my Kindle. Um, if you have that, you can continue. Um, you're going to want um, Kindle Fire drivers for your your Windows and um, you're going to want um, ABD files. Um, both of those can be found in the original Kindle Fire utility. Um, if you uh, go to the um, Kindle Fire utility version 0 0.909 uh, 0.9, um, go down to download and um, download the zip. Um, once you download that in any files for uh, Android, you should um, check the MD file, go ahead and copy that, and um, uh, get a uh, MD5 checker. And you're going to just verify that that file is uh, complete. Um, on the desktop, let's see, I just have it on the desktop. Um, this is our Kindle Fire utility and you can see the codes match, that means it downloaded correctly because um, if it didn't download correctly the file's not going to work right and uh, you can mess up your device okay so now we're going to just unzip these extract all um, to a folder called Kindle File Utility and uh, just take a second Okay, this is Kindle Fire Utility. This is what we used to use to um, root and um, install uh, our, our custom recovery and um, bootloader. Um, those functions no longer work, but this does have um, an installed driver's bat, which you want to go ahead and run um, before you connect your, your Kindle, if you haven't already done that. Um, and then we go into um, Tools. And you want to copy your ABD um, files and your fastboot file, um, and go ahead and move those. Um, I like to use. Um, I put a folder ABD on the C drive. And I just put it in these four files from there. Um, next, you're going to want to download your Fire 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 bootloader and um, the latest twerp, which um, I have 2.7.1. Dot zero um, blaze image and um, the, the, the fire 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 bootloader is a bin file. Um, okay, we'll go back to um, if, if you all, um, also you could um, download the uh, ABD and fast boot files from uh, zip here. Okay, so now. Um, uh, you can see I am running stock Kindle Fire um, um, system version 6.3.3 which um, the Kindle Fire no longer um, can um, have um, automatically reboot it to uh, the fast boot mode. So um, that's why we need our adapter. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and shut down the Kindle Fire. And we're going to take my uh, adapter and connect it to our um, USB cable. Um, and then we're just going to um, connect it to our Kindle Fire and it should automatically reboot to um, fast boot. Um, when you connect it, it's a good idea to go to um, control panel, hardware and sound, device manager 
and it should be shown as an Android phone, Android ADB. Um, you can also check uh, properties, drivers, um, driver details. Um, they should have these three drivers connected, but um, if it doesn't have a. If it says Android phone and uh, Android ADB interface, um, drivers should be good. If it doesn't say that, um, you may want to try to reinstall drivers again. Okay, it it booted into um, fast boot mode. So now we need to um, open up uh, command prompt, and you can um, you can find that in uh, start menu all programs um, accessories command prompt. And because I have all my folders in C drive, ADB, we just do uh, command change uh, change directory. Um, to ADB and enter, and then um, you can just uh, copy these commands. Now you want to make sure these commands um, have the same file names as the files you're using, like um, Open Recovery Twerp 2710. Uh, you want to make sure it says the the file you downloaded. It says Otter that you use the Otter. Um, file name. Um, same with the fast boot file. You want to make sure that if you downloaded 1.5, you use the 1.5 command um, or uh, file name. Um, so then we're just going to pop, copy that, and paste it. And um, you can see that it says sending recovery, okay. Writing recovery, okay. Uh, sending bootloader, okay. Writing bootloader, okay. Um, and then um, it changed the uh, the boot mode from um, fast boot um, back to um, normal boot. Um, and then you can um, click enter, so it'll reboot, and um, it'll reboot back. Uh, this is our our new bootloader. Um, to enter twerp, you can just hold the uh, button and it'll um, scroll through the options. You have normal boot, recovery, and uh, reset. Oops. And apparently I shut it down. I held the button too long. Let me see here. Okay, here's our options. You press the power button. Um, you just stop when you... I'm going to select it down. Recovery. Um, It'll uh, reboot to twerp recovery, where you can um, flash a ROM like CM10, or you can um, install my um, pre-rooted um, 6.3.3. Um, and um, you can. Um, Go ahead and uh, hit uh, select the uh, reboot system. Um, and uh, there is an option. Um, anyways, you just swipe to. Uh, it's asking me if I want to install Super User. Go ahead and swipe to install it. It uh, pretty sure that's not going to work, but anyways, it'll reboot. If you don't touch the um, power button, it'll just uh, reboot to um, stock Kindle Fire. And uh, that is how you install Twerp and uh, Fire 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 Bootloader. Um, when the Kindle Fire utility does not work. Um, like if you have um, the new Kindle Fire update 6.3.3. Uh, thanks for watching.